What's good YouTube? Bob back with Abdul Aesthetics. Now first and foremost, this ain't even a boxing channel. So if you're not into boxing, I wouldn't feel any other way if you just clicked off the video or if you e didn't even click on the video. But since you're here, um, it's just been announced that Big Baby Miller failed his third drug test. Now they drug test you all the way throughout training camp, especially with boxing, because mano y mano, man versus man, body versus body, and if you got an extra edge due to steroids, there could be some serious consequences on the other guy's behalf. But aside from that, uh, Big Baby Miller just went on his Instagram and posted, and posted what happened. Basically, a remorseful video to his fans and the people that he feels as though he let down. So I'm gonna play that, and then we're gonna get back to me. Um, this is your boy, Big Baby Miller here. Um, a lot can be said right now. I'm going to get straight to the point. Uh, I messed up. Um, I messed up. I made a bad call. Um, there's a lot of ways to handle the situation. I handle it wrongly, and I'm paying the price for it. I missed out on a big opportunity, and I'm hurting on this side. You know, my, my heart is, is bleeding right now. I hurt my family, my friends my team, my supporters, but I'm going to own up to it. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to correct it, and I'm going to come back better, and I'm humbled by the experience to understand, you know, how to handle certain things, man, and uh, I'm going to leave it as that. You know, I love you guys, and I, and I appreciate you guys out there, and, you know, fighters, we go through a lot, and I don't want to make it a bad name for ourselves, and it's time to do right and get right. So I thank now what that does is now Anthony Joshua has to go find someone else to fight. Who is it gonna be? I don't know. He's pretty much already beaten everybody that they put in front of him. He's already beaten Povetkin. He's already beaten Brazil, Molina, Parker. Obviously Klitschko is retired. We don't know if he's coming back. I'm pretty sure he didn't want to fight, you know, Shannon Briggs. <laughs> Cause Cannon Shannon is old as shit. Let's go champ. But my thing is, these guys do these things to try to get a leg up. It always seems to, you know, rear its ugly head. And the people who suffer the most are the fans. You know, you, me, and everybody else around the world who is looking forward to this fight. Because now the anticipation is so high for this fight. And now we have to wait and see who else is going to be funneled into Real Miller's spot. And... It's probably going to be an American-based fighter because the fight was going to be in uh, New York. But it's like, bro, I don't know, man. I'm just kind of disappointed. <laughs> I'm just kind of disappointed because uh, I really wanted to see what was going on with that. I've been anticipating this fight since after Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury fought because we were set up to get Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder 2. That never happened, and I don't think it ever will happen. So this was the next best thing, and now the steroid thing happens and it kind of fucks everything up. So, like I said, I don't know who they're gonna put in front of Joshua to fight. Take Big Baby Miller's place, but I figured since I made this video, once I find out more information, I'll just keep you updated on that, and uh, we can go from there. But all in all, big disappointment for me. Uh, Cause I was, I feel as though we're missing out on a very good fight. So how they're gonna handle it? Who knows? This is boxing. It's really up in the air. You know, the politics and boxing are about as aggressive as politics in real life. So anyway, man. With that being said, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and until next time, deuce.